Newswatch 12 Chardet Gray got up at the crack of dawn to find out what dry dog sled racing is all about. I started when I was six. I could barely see over the handlebar. Rachel Colbath started dry dog sled racing 14 years ago. It's been in my family forever now. I'm a third generation musher, my grandparents, my parents. So I started real young. My uncle got me a one dog junior team to run at a race. She, along with 100 other mushers, competed at the Dirty Dog Dryland Derby at Makajawan Scout Reservation in Pearson Sunday. <laughs> We're very lucky to have some of our Canadian friends visiting with us today. We have two trucks from Canada. We have teams from as far west as the state of Oregon and as far east as the state of Massachusetts and all states in between. The Wisconsin Trail Blazer Sled Dog Club started the race nine years ago. Mushing on snow has been used for years, but racing on dry land extends the season for them. With the dry land activities, we're able to start racing a little bit earlier in the fall. We don't have to wait for snow. And we can also extend it a little bit at the end of the season after the snow disappears. Of course, you're competing against your competitors on the trail, but Colbath says the best part is being in tune with your dogs. Well, there's something, you have like a special connection with your dogs being out there. Like it's a ton of fun to do, but it's so much more gratifying knowing that your dogs can go out there and they'll like do anything for you and come back and they just love you. <laughs> If you missed today's race, there's still a chance to check out the one in Wausau at Willow Spring, November 15th. We're covering the news in Pearson. Sade Gray, Newswatch 12. Let's go! Hike, hike! <laughs>